Hello, I am Laura Sass. I'm an engineering student at the University of Michigan Dearborn. And today I'll be presenting my light activated LED project for project-based learning that was covered in my course EC210 under the professor Azim Hafiz. So what is project-based learning? Project-based learning takes real life problems that can be challenging to solve and we cover them in the course of a couple of weeks and it encourages team collaboration and authentic assessment of skills learned in the class. In EC210, we covered basic circuit analysis and with AC and DC circuits. We also learned about capacitors and inductors and op amps. For the goal of this project, we were tasked to make an LED that could sense the lighting in the room and turn on when it is dark and turn off when it is bright outside. As you can see, we have the photoresistor over here that will detect the light. The LED is soldered on upside down so that'll actually light up the house when the light is off. And then you can see the op amp and uh, the resistor values that we calculated to make the gain the desired value. With the roof on the house, we can see that there is a hole so that the photoresistor can still detect the light. Some benefits of this project can be safety. 12 to 15% of accidents at nighttime are caused due to the glare of high beams from oncoming traffic. So being able to sense the light of oncoming traffic, we can turn off the high beams to prevent accidents. There are also environmental benefits. 11 billion kilowatt hours of energy are wasted per year, leaving lights on unnecessarily. And one third of all lighting in the US is wasted, which costs to 30 million barrels of oil and 8.2 million tons of coal per year. And so again, by this project, we can minimize the amount of wasted electricity. For the circuit design, we used op amps, photoresistors, regular resistors, and a power supply. How this works is the photoresistor will detect light and change its resistance based on the amount of light it detects. We'll use that as a voltage divider going into an op amp and we calculated the gain so that when it is bright outside, the LED will not get enough power to turn on, and when it is dark outside, the LED will be able to turn on. This is a picture of how our project works. We have our circuit with our photoresistor and LED and op amp, and then you can see where that is located on the house. And the next picture shows there's a little hole in the house so the photoresistor can detect the light outside and then the last picture shows covering up that photoresistor and the LED turning on. Benefits of this project is I gained a better understanding of op amps and I learned how to apply the concepts taught in class to real life application and I able to effectively collaborate with partners.